Huh. It's like a unicorn, a dragon, and the human torch had a baby. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the 5 2 toys! I said it right this time. The 5-2 Toys Mega Box Kidding. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front, we have a lovely image of Kidding. The name is Kidding. 5-2 Toys. On this side, we have the box. On this side, we have Mega Box. On the bottom, words, things, caution. Don't eat anything in this box. It's going to be very bad for you. On the back of the box, we have some obligatory product shots, things and stuff and stuff and things. And we have Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Kidding. And again, I want to say a big thank you to the good people at 52 Toys for sending this out my way to take a look at and adding to my collection of these Beast Box Mega Box figures. And yes, here we have Kidding. We have a mythical beast here in our mitts and uh it looks really cool love the design here just love the overall coloration just looks really good in my opinion but let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details you can take a look at that head sculpt there again really nicely done you got some nice gold going on in there you got the trans clearance red as well and you do have some tampographed details throughout as well. Little gold hooves. These are done in a gold plastic. There is gold plastic on him as well. I don't think it's going to suffer from gold plastic syndrome. Um, don't really think that's a thing anymore, but I don't think that's really an issue. But again, you had these nice flames here. And then a trans clearance red with some airbrushing here that goes into yellow. And again, you got some more tampograph details going down the hind legs. You got the tail here. And these sections here are done in gold plastic, not gold paints. But overall, really, really nicely done. There's the top, there's the bottom. He slides, as Kidding should slide. Hooray for sliding Kiddings. But you yeah, have that going on. Now, articulation wise, um, the mouth can. Open and close. Open and close pretty widely. The head itself is on a ball joint. It can rotate. You can look up, can look down. Uh, you can engage these joints as well. You have a lot going on there, so you can kind of have that going on. If you want to, it kind of makes things a little, look a little disjointed, but I mean, it's things that move. If you need them to move, they move. So uh, these sections here are on ball joints, you can wiggle waggle them. It's on a hinge up here, so you can kind of do that if you want. Um, these sections here, they're meant to be back, but they're on a hinge. You can kind of bring them up if you want to. Again, things that are adjustable. Uh, the front legs are on a ball joint, so you have wiggly waggly, rotation, um, some in and out. You have this joint here, which can move forward and back. You have this section right here that can move back, not so much forward, but backwards. Uh, the hooves are on a ball joint so you have your wiggly waggly rotation tiltage uh, you do have i guess you would call this the waist <laughs> they do have waist rotation here it's on a ball joint so again you got wiggly waggly here um the hind legs also on ball joint but on ball joints i know words i swear ball joints they can rotate in and out all that wiggly waggly goodness and again you have these joints here which can move backwards as far as they move forward but can move backwards same with this hinge can move back that far can move forward farther hooves again on a ball joint wiggly waggly and the tail section can move up can move down and this section back here is on a hinge that can move up and down now, as far as size goes, uh, to the top of the horn here, Kidin stands at about four and a quarter inches tall. And just for some other size references here, um, here's Kidin with a uh, deluxe, a current deluxe transformer. As you can see how that works out. And with a uh, Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Again, just so you can get a sense of the size here. So that is basically it for the beast mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So first thing you want to do is you want to 
open up the chest section here. Just open that up. You want to extend this whole next section forward right here. Now these two sections are clipped together right here. So just pull this apart and undo that clip like that. And then this is going to rotate back. All of this is then going to come up like so. And you have a double hinge here to work with. So ultimately you want the head to come down here and that will sit like that. You have this little tab here. You just want to push that in like so. And you're just gonna kind of leave that just hanging out for now. You're gonna take these flame sections here, just fold them in like that. And this whole assembly is just going to just kind of sit forward. Just kind of chill out here for now. These little flame bits you want to flip up like that. And then you're going to take these whole assemblies here and just untab them and bring them down. And then you want to take this whole rear section and rotate it 180. Once you've done that, this entire assembly with the head is just going to tuck under. Oh, you also want to uh, bring the horn down and bring all this up and under. Just leave this hanging down for now, like so. And then these sections here will come down and you have a tab slot connection right there. So just bring that down and that will tab in there and tab in right there like that and once you do that you can bring these panels back in again that will just hang out right there for now let's just leave it like that and now we can work on uh all of this here so the legs you're just going to collapse down like so uh, these hooves you're going to rotate out and then pivot them in like that so collapse that down rotate that in and then it'll pivot down like so then you want to just split this entire assembly right here and this will come in and you have a tab slot connection right there so just take that Push it in on either side, like so. And once you've done that, you want to take the legs and just rotate them in, and they will just sit right in there. You just have a nice little spot to sit in, like so. And once you have that in place, you can take these sections here and just rotate them back on either side and they will just sit comfortably right in there like that and you can see everything's starting to come together here so now what we're going to do we're going to take these front legs here we're going to rotate up and two things are going to happen you have a post right here that will go into this port right here and then this red section right here will tab up right in here so just get everything situated and just plug that in like that and then that'll just sit right in there and you just take the hoof and just fold that up like so and the second verse is just like the first just bring that up and that will just tab in get everything located like that and there you go and just flip that up and you got that part done so now we will come to the tail just want to split this back section here you want to splay this out and just bring this up you want to also flip these sections back like that then this will all just come up and over you're going to have two connection points here. You have a post that will go in here, and this section will go into the slot right there. So, again, just get everything lined up, and everything should just pop right into place. Get on the other side. Again, make sure you have these bits out of the way. Make sure you have your clearance, and get things sitting where they need to go. And there we go. And you got that sitting right there like that. So 
it's all coming together in a nice neat little package. There we go. Make sure everything's nice and squozen. There we go. Then you just take these sections, you just rotate them down. There's a little notch in here that this can go into. I don't know if that's intended, but there's a little notch these side pieces can go into right there. And we're at the home stretch. You just want to take this bit here and split this in half, open it up, and that will raise up. Sit there, and then these sections have a post and a port right here. And you just plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Get everything all nice and squozen. And everything should be sitting just right. And there you go. There you have a kid in in its box mode. You have a good spin out of him. And there he is. And like I said when I reviewed Stratosphere, this is the fun of this line, is just seeing how many different things you can get out of this same basic shape and seeing the engineering behind it too. Like, that's just really clever and really well done. I mean, I know it's, I mean, it's kind of like, oh, it turns into a box, but again, just seeing like what you can get out of this just one basic shape is just kind of mind boggling and just really a testament to the engineers, honestly. I think this is really well done and just really fun as far as I'm concerned anyway, just my personal opinion, but I really dig these. And of course, you do get the, uh, the box charger here, which you can open up, get in. Slide right in, close up, and now Kirin can charge. And if you have multiples of these, they can connect side to side like so, or you can connect them on top of each other. They just clip together. And I would love to see somebody with a massive collection of these and just they just have like a wall of these. That would be actually really cool to see. I don't have enough to really make a wall. I have, uh, I have, I think I have like four more, but um, not enough to really make a sizable wall. But cool that you can just totally like stack these up and just, you know, you build a fort out of these if you have enough of them. But yeah, there's Kidin. He's, he's charging now. He's sleeping. We'll just leave him alone. But yeah, that is basically it. So there you go. So there you have Kidding, and yeah, another very cool one here from 52 Toys. Um, I just love the overall design, just love the detail, the coloration, the paintwork, just all looks so good in my opinion. And I am going to review the other ones that I've bought. I am going to review those, I promise you. And, uh, you know, and, and again, I, I said this in the Stratosphere review, man, I got to pick up those Ninja Turtles they put out. And they put out some Marvel ones too. They have a Thanos and an Iron Man, and I have to, I have to pick those up because they look really cool also. So yeah. Yeah, definitely some more stuff from 5-2 Toys on the way. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Mega Box figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Mega Box Beast Box playlist for any other reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the 5 2 Toys Mega Box Kitten. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Palm in your face.